Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl Super League Draw and Preview. I'm Jimmy Fantastic, in the booth with me is Dimmy G and Elliot. Hello guys. Hello. Hey up. <laughs> Brilliant. So um, this is the cast for the upcoming season. We had seven people return and we've uh, cycled through five different people here. So, you know, uh, there you go. You know, some well-known names, obviously Core is the K for good is the uh, number one people in you know number one person in everyone's heart isn't he pretty much uh, you know he's he's an absolute legend of blood ball and we've got some other people as well who are kind of well known in the community aren't they so that's that's nice and Jimmy fantastic yep yeah really? lots, of, lots of good players so we've got this here that's the uh, that's the list of people with their you know some of their achievements it's not an exhaustive list but it's some of the things that they've done and then this is the group so we've got the two groups group a and group b um we've split the winner and the runner-up from the previous season which of course i won um, and diamond was second and then from here you can see everybody's uh you know the coach and the race uh, and it's it that's super interesting we've got two knobs i bet you're happy to see those knobs dimmy I am ecstatic. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's the way, it's what this competition needed. I mean, honestly, if there was un if there was one wish from the last season of PBSL, there's more knobs. <laughs> yeah. And the craziest thing is, we went we went from like four orcs to zero orcs. Um, absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, has, has everyone just forgotten that undead exists? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And zero. Like, what is going on? Like, why does nobody play undead? Yeah, lizards as well, right? Zero <coughs> lizards either season. Zero undead either season. And Zero underworlds. Yeah, but that's understandable now because underworld have been nerfed. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so that was yeah. more understandable yeah. this season. But uh, yeah, crazy. To be fair, Diamond and Andy both prefer necromantic. And I thought I'd give, like, you know, people, uh, the viewers a break from orcs. Because I thought, you know, I did orcs last time. I'll have to pick something different this time. I still think orcs are better, right? Seven guard. Now I wouldn't well, take... What was it? It was... All Orphans. orc final, and then there was three out of four orcs in the semis, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's literally like gone from seventy-five percent like qualification to like none in the whole competition. Yeah, crazy. I still think they're super strong. I, w I would just go seven guard. I wouldn't bother with a tackle or a frenzy or a mighty blow. I would just go seven guard, um, and I still think that's the best list realistically. But uh, you know, I thought let's go something different, and then you know, Sagaven, dwarves, dark elves, wood elves, all sorts of things. So yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, split between the races, and then what we've got, we've got this this wheel spinning thing to see. Uh, so we've got, so let's start off with Group A, right? Who joins myself in Group A first up? Um, how do you spin it? Oh, here we go. We're spinning. We're spinning. Hero. With dwarves. Oof. <laughs> you sounded oh. happy about that one, Jimmy. And uh, it's making me regret not playing orcs instantly, isn't it? Instant orc regret here. Could have crushed dwarves. I think dwarves versus necros fifty-fifty. I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent happy with facing dwarves. I'll be honest. Right. Next to see who's in group B. Rider with Wood Elves. I wonder if. Uh... What's Diamond playing? Uh, uh, Necro, Necro is on the left. Oh, uh, oh Necro. Necro. Yeah, so Jimmy and Diamond are in playing Necro, which is good because they're going to be Got in a different. Bit of a... Yeah. Good spelling uh, failure. Stider. Stider, it. Good old Stider. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Let's see who's in, who joins myself and Hiru in Group A. Sea Bros. Ooh, Dark and he Elves. is playing Dark Elves there. Maybe we should have looked at the teams first. <laughs> <laughs> because these are just races rather than teams. But never mind. Uh, C Rose in there. And now Group B. Misspell Tree. More Wood Elves. Well, I guess at least. At least it's. Uh, <laughs> they're not in with the dwarves here. 
<laughs> oh man, if, if Monitor goes into that group, <laughs> it's literally Theobed's gonna have three Wood Elves. <laughs> yeah, that could be brutal. Alright, back to group A. Oh, Soul with a Skaven. Okay. Well, he's using the same team from last season. Because, uh, you know, he kind of wants, kind of wants practice for Euroball. So, very diverse field in Group A, and then, yeah, will we see just more Wood Elves? Now? Oh, I, I can't <laughs> wait for Mona. I, I, it's already happened, I know. It's... <laughs> it's Big Kev! The, the spin wheel thinks he took Wood Elves. <laughs> oh, it's not, oh, do you know what? Do you know what? It could be Monitor, and then it could be... Uh, Oh my god. Ch Chanta? So then it's literally <laughs> all he plays against is Wood Elves and Dobbs. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, right. Well, it's like pretty quite... good for him. Like, he's got a mic blow tackle, hasn't he? You reckon? Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess oh, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he wouldn't play against, like, Orcs or, like, a good team, does he? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I guess he can't play against Orcs, though, can he? There's no Orcs. Yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know. It's Necromantic, like, <sighs> Necromantic Wood Elves. Is that a good matchup? I don't know. That's good for the one. Necro, yeah. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm, wolves. Right. Wolves good against elves. Wolf, wolf. Wolf, wolf. Right, let's see. Only four people left. Who's next for Group A? It's Devo. Oh, spicy. Oh. So that you, you're going to get to play Devo like twice in two weeks, and yeah. Well, we don't know when. We don't know when this game's going to happen, but uh, you know, at some point yeah. I'll be playing him. Yeah. This might be like four weeks away, I think. And that's a, a Necro Mirror as well. Exciting. Is. Yeah. Right. Group B. Chunter or Monitor, either way. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, oh it's got Olivier. Oh. <laughs> so this is Rats as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's yep. yep. So the Rats are separated. Yep. And it's just, does it, do you get knobs or do you get... Uh, <laughs> knobs or, or woodies, woodies, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Knobs or woodies. Do you have a preference? I like knobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got knobs. There hey! you go. <laughs> I think you need to spin it just for clarity. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But, you know, because I'm we, glad you said that. Yeah. We 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 can't have any. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we got. Thank you, thank you. It's just a yeah. prediction. Am I correct? Yes. <laughs> it is one. It is one. It's a, there we go. There we go. So. Why? If you, if that's one hell of a prediction. Is this rigged? <laughs> is <laughs> pre recorded? <laughs> Rick. Rick. <laughs> so yeah. Wow. Well, there you go. Um, that's, oh, that's, that's a pretty, pretty good spread, I think, isn't it? But yeah, all the woodies in the same one. All the woodies in the same half. Is oh wild, yeah, it is, isn't it? isn't it? Yeah, three woodies. So there's going to be. Two, oh my god, how many, like, there's going to be, like, two Woody mirrors, and then there's, like, going to be every game versus Woody's, right? Apart from yeah. two, or three games. There's three games that don't include Woody's. <laughs> Diamed, Core, Jimmy, Andy to qualify. Oh. You said, what, Diamed, Core, Jimmy, and Andy? Yeah. I, I reckon Crystal Hunter and... <laughs> Instant Knob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it right. I'm going to say this is the first season that Jimmy doesn't get out of the groups. Wow. I'm gonna say. It, I'm gonna say it's Crystal and it's Andy, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go with Kfo, and I'm gonna go with. Ball up. I'm gonna go with. Diamonds, yeah. Oh, you mostly, mostly just copied me, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> you just copied me like some of your maximised knobs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah. I mean, like, because the thing is, Demon's, like, got the, like, he had a great season last season, and he's on Necro. I've... I have watched a lot of Demon play Necro over the Blood Bowl 2 yeah. seasons. So. Demon's one of the best girls in Blood Bowl. Mm -hmm. he's really yeah, his name right? starts with Dio, yeah, so it must be, you know. <laughs> yes. Now, there are other coaches whose names start with a D who I don't think so. are so, so, so the best coaches in Blood Bowl. Oh, yeah, there are yeah. coaches named DL that are doing remarkably poorly by their high standards in the current rule set of Blood Bowl. That is true. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Right. So let's, we can have a look at the teams now. Maybe, maybe I should have started with the teams, but never mind. Uh, let's start with number one, of course. Jimmy Fantastic. Uh, this is the team. Wow. Didn't name, didn't name the players. Necromantic. Zog, Zog, eat dead. 
<laughs> he's my star man. Wow. <laughs> wow. What do you think of this? What? Oh, oh, the wraiths. I was so confused. I was like, they have sidestepping guard? What kind of player is this? And then I realised yeah. it's wraith. <laughs> it almost as good a ball carrier as Acorn. Hey. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, but Acorn's really got an extra movement on them, hasn't he? So. Yeah, I exactly. Better, actually. Yeah, yeah. and, and they, he has uh, the Dauntless as well. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you need to blitz through the back line to score. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've just realised you can't see the... Uh... You can't see the re-rolls. The re-rolls? The wee rolls? you got oh. three re-rolls. Yep. Three, three re-rolls. Three wee rolls. Uh, One dedicated wolf fan. and wrestle wolf. Where's the mighty blow wolf? Oh. There's no yeah. doubles. Oh, no, you could, you, could, could, you could make a double, but it would cost you a skill to take it, wouldn't it? And they had seven. Oh, they had eight skills, but I traded a skill for more money to get max positionals. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. That sounds like funky. Yeah, that's quite good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like. Necro, Necro always cool. a bit lacking in money, aren't they? Trying to fit all the positions. So. Yeah. Balthazar Evil Eye. <laughs> That's a great Dude, name. He loves these names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah Claw Wolf is trash, isn't it? I remember in um, what was that one? The one that uh, G, the GG Tortoni is right when I played Diamond in the final. Mm. And the one, the one Diamond one. Uh, I, I, I think we both. In fact, I think we both had claw wolves in that one. And I remember the commentators like, oh, sorry, claw wolves, uh, mighty bow wolves. So I think like all <laughs> the way through the, the the commentators like mocking out like shithead wolves. Uh, and the things I, I I like them, and also it's kind of like brainless and a bit fun. But now like with claw being even worse, it's like uh, sorry, yeah, with claw being even worse, you know, the the claw might both stack even worse. It's like ah, uh, you know, it's yeah, it really, really seems like a misstep to go for the claw might doesn't it yeah yeah i think so i think the well i like the the commentators say like slagging off your selection when you're both in the final as well that's quite funny <laughs> yeah well you know armchair blood bowlers what can you say <laughs> dirtbag commentators we all hate them <laughs> right? and i think I, I think i went one block one wrestle when i won blitz pit so i thought i'll do one block one wrestle again it's all right isn't it, it gives you a bit more against like the dodgy teams and uh, you can always use the block one to blitz, like most of the I mean, time. it's really good if you're in a group with three wood, wood elves. Yeah, yeah, it would have been all right in that one, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly for resurrection. I would never take it. I would never take wrestling progression because obviously you want block because you want them to be able to punch things, you know, every turn and stuff. But yeah, with with resurrection, everyone having less skills, I feel like the wrestle you get a lot more out of. So, um, so I, I don't hate. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't hate block block either. So. Yeah, my my instinct is block block, but like fucking Necro, I don't fucking play Necro. <laughs> there you go. So that's that's my team, and then we'll we'll go with a very similar one, which is Andy Devo, who's in my group. And why uh, is that one team in green? Sorry, because he hasn't accepted his ticket yet. Uh, oh, the bit banned. Yeah. So he has he, he's allowed to accept his ticket after he sees the draw. Wow. <laughs> How, how the standards have fallen. <laughs> so, it's going to be playing a knob team before we know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's Andy Devo. He's gone for the exact same thing of swapping the skill for the 30 TV. And, you know, six out of the seven skills are the same. It's just he's gone double block wolf. Block, block, yeah. Which is, you know, a and he's put them in a slightly different order as well. He has put them in a slightly different order, yeah. Will, he, will, will that cost him? I mean, I always put my best two players, one and two. I think but he does uh, determine which player gets left in the end zone, right? When you oh, when you set up, so so I mean, you will cost somebody. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm kidding. Player... By the way, I'm dying. That's true. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> uh, the, the, the player to watch here is Marcus Bad Luck. <laughs> yeah. Like keep an eye out on him because uh, I heard he rolls a few one in nines. Yeah, Rolf Tenderchin though. That's a great name, isn't it? <laughs> Good old tender chin. <laughs> Both of the walls are football called the Fury. fury yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Super interesting, right. I mean, if the fact that we're going reviewing the names is a bad sign, <laughs> I think, I mean, it's a lot dibby, buddy. Every team he starts <laughs> he picks out the names. <laughs> I mean, like, nobody's named their teams. It's disgraceful. They made the customization even easier on Blood Bowl 3, and nobody's made the effort. Did they? It's such a hassle to click through every it player is. and change the name. It's such a ball. It's here. better than... Uh, well, you can actually do it in BB3. I mean, to be fair, people can actually change their names now, right? Instead of... Uh, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this was, this was all... I'll be honest. I, I, I'm, I'm at fault for this. It was all very 
very last second and everyone had to make their seat plan, you know, accept the tickets really quickly, make their teams really quickly. So maybe Not everybody, Jimmy. Go. Not everybody. <laughs> okay. But, so, so maybe people will go back and change their team names or their player names or anything, right? But uh, whatever it is, yeah. So here's Hiru. He's Ooh. gone for the exact same team as last season. Um, Bombs, dwarves. dwarves. Yep, five dwarves. Mighty Blown and Troll Slayer. Both Slayers, like full positionals, both runners, both Slayers. The fastest dwarf team in the BBSL. Yeah, yeah. He's gone for the uh, cheerleader rather than the assistant coach. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a point. Davo went with the cheerleader. I went with the coach. He went with the cheerleader. Interesting. Very interesting because I think the assistant coach is way better. Because, you know, if, if you get a uh, Pret and Nuffle, it could even be bad for me, couldn't it, Elliot? Or oh, Moles. Yeah. Oh, well, ow, my ear. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My uh, my headset, it's like they, it's it's a decent headset, but it, it really it's it like squishes my like it squishes against my ear and like my glasses. So when I like I take my glasses off, like the friction is like intense between like my ear and my head. It really hurts. Uh. <laughs> Fuck off. That's, that's, that's up there with a swarm lord of the colleges of magic. Thank you very much, Elm. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers, are we paying here? <laughs> Sorry. Five guards. Yeah, only know, five guards. Yeah, very yeah, light, five, very light. Five guard, one mighty blow. Yeah, very light. I mean, Necro are getting four guard, aren't they? And yeah, Orcs are getting seven. They have four claw as well. Yeah. Could, could they have like not got any more skills? Is just is there no way they could have got more skills? No, only six. Only six skills for uh, for dwarves. But so, yeah. so so wow. So that's less skills than Necro. Yeah, 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 but yeah. yeah. No, dwarves are tier one. Um, orcs wow. were tier two, and Necro were tier three. Wow. <laughs> and uh, orcs yeah. being a lower tier than dwarves seems wild. Yeah, yeah, crazy. And he's not blocked his runner either. No, no. So this. I mean, you can't, can you? You'd have like four guard if you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's a rough rule set for dwarves, but you know, I think that's what Hero knows, right? So it's there's a lot to be said for like you know experience and comfort and everything, isn't there? So, so there you go. There is. There is. So we're getting zero super dark elves. Eleven players. Dodge, dodge assassin. Oh, he's got no leader, right? So he's got that. yeah. So he hasn't got the runner leader. So he's only got well, two. I mean, just put the dodge on the blitz. I think. Yeah, I think I would as well. But his argument was, you know, you've just got a weak link. Then haven't you? If you if you, if you don't take dodge on it, you've just got a weak link. So. Back yeah, this is like reinforcing failure, though, wasn't it? A little bit, yeah, yeah. I, I was. I think it's okay to have an assassin, and it's just like having a wood elf lineman. It's not the end of the world, is it? Like you know, wood elves have yeah. unskilled wood elf liners on the team, and they do pretty okay. So <laughs> and look, it, it doesn't matter does it, at the end of the day, like bet between the, the blitz and the assassin, like it's gonna be the tiniest, tiniest difference, isn't it? Really, yeah. whether you're skill one or the other. Yeah, mm. yeah, and you know, ob obviously one block, which one wrestle, which that's also pretty standard, isn't it? Two mm -hmm. rolls, apple. Um, Yep. Yep. There you go. Any any thoughts? Uh, Gentleman, Golden Tooth. Thanks. Play to watch. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Dibby. <laughs> and here's Sol. Yeah, he hadn't he hadn't accepted his ticket yet, but it is the same exact same team as last time. He's changed the name. If we kept the same Rat Ogre because Rat Ogre was horrendous. If you watched the previous Super League, it's, it's Rat Ogre. Oh, That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he's he's Rat Ogre. Was it? I can't remember which one cast which one, but I swear he cast uh, Dilax Rat Ogre. Uh, yeah, maybe. Or was it the other way around? It's probably the other way around. Honestly, his his Rat Ogre yeah. was terrible. It was just removed. Like, he did run out of time with the Rat Ogre against uh, Crucifer that yeah. cost him the game. Yeah, he did. Yeah, so he's kept this no guard. I mean, I really like guard on the Blitzer, but he's got tackle, which is better this season. There's a lot more dodge around this season. There um, is, yeah. unfortunately. In the other group, but you know, <laughs> no, they're still in this, right? The uh, the nah, you got the knob blitzers, you got the dark elves, you got the ghouls, yeah, yeah, so there's a fair bit, there's a fair bit, yeah, yeah, no guard though, so it's gonna be hard to make those 2Ds, yeah, I really like having a guard, on and it. he's gonna be playing against a lot of guard, right? So there's gonna be four on both necro teams, five on the dwarfs, so yeah, it's gonna be gonna be tough, I think, this div, yep, yeah. yep. And uh, the final player in this is speaking of knobs, it is Crystal Hunter. He did not go. He did not go Skaven for some reason. Speaking he's of got guard, a, he's got Whoa. a lot of guard. Yeah, five guards there. Lovely. Love maxing guard. Hang on, hang on a second. What the hell is that on that blitz? Is that dodge pro and dodge tackle? Wow. It's uh, dodge sure hands. Ah, uh, sure hands. 
Right. Yeah, if you give it one skill, you get to stack two things. So you like you get two stacks. Yeah, that, yeah, your evolve knobs are incredible. He's only got mm -hmm. two rerolls, and he's got no leader, right? Yes. Oof. Yeah. And he has got an apo though. And he's got two throwers, so yeah, on, only two armor eight plus mm -hmm. players on the team. That's a pretty good team, isn't it? That looks pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, as, as much <laughs> as it pains me to say. <laughs> I love. I, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing the knobs in action. It's uh, it's an exciting time for myself. Yeah, and and speaking of an exciting time for yourself, this team is called Chunter's Chairfallers, and look at the player names, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, in, pretty incredible. Pretty incredible names there. An entire team tribute to Dimmy G. For... Oh my god, it is amazing. I love these two names. <laughs> Well, hey! <laughs> it's even, he's even linked my Twitch channel. <laughs> this is amazing. Player cool. number 11, that's the one to watch. Right yeah. now, go follow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, absolutely glorious. So, yeah, only two re rolls. Yeah, but he's good. I would take man. knobs all day. <laughs> 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 and he's put it on the thrower. Oh my god, what a monster! <laughs> what a monster! Absolutely gorgeous. So that's Group A. Yeah, yeah, that's Group A. And uh, I think what both both people predicted Andy, didn't they? Both predicted Andy. I think so. I think so. Elliot, Elliot went with myself and uh, Dimmy Chunter. With Chunter. Yeah. Oh. The, the chair, Chunter's chair fallers. That's what we're going with. Yeah. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Andy and C Bros. There you go. Ooh, spicy! I think Dark Elves are gonna be really, really good. Like there wasn't any Dark Elves last season, was no, there? No, there wasn't. No. Yeah, so and we, we, I thought it was crazy. You're not predicting yourself. No, Jimmy. Wow. Humble. Lack of confidence. Humble Jimmy. Yeah. No, okay, okay. Well, I was just bullshitting you. Of course, I think I'm gonna fucking win. I think I'm gonna win the group. Never mind fucking qualifying. <laughs> I'm just trying uh, to be nice. Okay. Of so course, I'm picking other... myself. What about the other group? Um, well, here we go. Let's look at them. This is Diamond. Oh. Diamond has only oh. gone with one werewolf. That's Whoop. madness. Thirteen players. And uh, and he's got a dirty player. He's got the dirty mm, player. He's the high roll. skills. Yeah, he's gone for the full eight skills. Block ghoul or wrestle, so both of his both of his ghouls are defended. Um, block wolf, because yeah, you only need one wolf. You can only make one blitz a turn, can't you? So you only need one wolf. Yeah, the movement eight is super nice. Yeah, the and the thing is with necro is with the wraiths not having hands, like you're limited on ball carriers, bro. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But he's maybe got. The, I mean, he's got the. He's definitely got that better high roll with having the. Having the zombie yeah. fowler. Oh, he? how funny would it be if it was a vicious ref and his wolf gets sent off? Oh my god, <laughs> I can't wait for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, a bit different from mine, Andy's. Uh, any, he is. Any... Yeah, yeah. I'm. I'm quite interested to see how he gets on with it. Like, I mean, obviously he's a much better player than me and a mm. better necro coach than me. So, um, yeah, this one slight concerns, but you know. Mm. Mm. Three re rolls. Two assistant coaches. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Super interesting. And he's got he's got the glory of Big Kev. We've looked at this on stream. Oh, is that the know. first game, is it? So uh, no, 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 no. Chalice. Oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, God. First so first I did the dive. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hmm. <laughs> he's lost his voice. You've got a a squash deer. What's, what's going on? Well, it's it's not the ear that's squashed. It's 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 you know the, it's the friction. The, 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 <laughs> the, yeah, exactly. You like, to understand. Oh, Are you alright, Jim? I was just coughing a lot. Um, uh, so no, so I, actually I've got the first week. So it's myself versus Hiru, Seabros versus Sol, Andy versus Chunter. And that's in Group A, and then Group B is Diamond uh, versus yeah, Diamond versus Strider, the repeat of the season two final. Uh, oh. Tree versus Cole, Ooh. and Olivia Delac versus Monitor. So actually, not a Wood Elf Mirror in the first week. <laughs> wow! Yeah, wow. so it'll be every week after that. Yeah. <laughs> that's like literally every non Wood Elf. Like, oh my god, amazing. Um, right. 
Um, actually, there's not. No. There's not would have. There's not on would have oh. in the second week either. And, and yeah, I'm gonna say that's still possible. Right, you can. Uh. Around, yeah. And and then the mirrors start. Yeah, and then every every week after the first two, there's there's a there's a wood elf mirror. Man. There isn't the first two, right? So uh, yeah, this is big Kev. We looked at this on stream, but obviously have to do it again for the YouTube. Um, he's I really only like got the one stack. Over. Yeah, he's only got yeah. one stack, and uh, and then gave up another skill for the uh, for the ogre. So I'll be honest, I, I like I like Chunder's team more than this. Only two guard. Chunder had five guard, didn't he? And only two. He did. For, he did. I do like the block ogre. I think I prefer the four. But I mean, he's got a wrestle sacker, right? It's, rack, it's a, a bit rack. weird having the block ogre and the tackle, might you? I feel like you know. Yeah, like, you're only I feel bit. like you'd go for the block ogre if you were like lacking bang elsewhere, you know. But mm. having said that, you can't have too much bang, can you? <laughs> so. True. True. One, one thing I like about the block ogre is he's less likely to get uphilled, which is yeah, pretty nice because you normally park him on something and don't always activate him, and then like yeah, it's quite nice to not be uphilled easily. And he's got the uh, got the leader there, so three re rolls. So he's got that. Yeah. Of, uh... Twelve players, two budgets. Yeah. It's all, right. it's all right. Neither really. Funnily enough, like this is making me feel really bad at Blood Bowl. But funnily enough, I wouldn't have picked either of these teams. Like, I mean, I would have picked knobs, but I, I wouldn't have gone for either of the, their variations of knobs. Mm, interesting. Interesting. And uh, right. So and then of course, yeah, Olivier Delac, the number one. Number one ranked ta tabletop player. His team's called Fantastic Number One, and uh, I think he's gone the same as last season. He might have changed it, actually. I'm not mm. sure. I'm not sure what he took last season. Um, yeah, I think it's similar. Yeah, it's at least similar. Isn't it? Like it's rats, wrestles, blocks, strip three different ones to do different things. Mighty blow and a yeah. guard to do two different things. A juggernaut leader. So he's got like a toolbox, hasn't he? Loads of different skills to be. Did he have a? Situation. Did he have a sidestep last season? Maybe, maybe I can't remember. I think I think he may have had sidestep, but I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to check your YouTube. Actually, I can do that now. Why you mm. talk? I would I would have just gone two guards, personally. But um, yeah, interesting. What what do you think about this, Elliot? Rats. <laughs> Who is this? Livy Delac. He likes rats, doesn't he? I don't like rats. <laughs> what do you think about rats? <laughs> Imagine being so obsessed by rats. <laughs> Go on holiday. <laughs> he did. He you know, did. Uh, he had a he had a sidestepper last season. So he had a uh, sidestepper, a wrestle, and a strip, and he didn't have the block one. So he's yeah. No. Right. No, no sidestep is wild, isn't it? Yeah. He swapped. He swapped it this season. He swapped the sidestep for the blocker. Mm. Interesting. Mm. It feel, kind of first me just like block doesn't do much right. Like rats are doing things team rights and like and like block. Like you can't carry the ball in it right. It's hard to get it off it and stuff. But like goons are fast anyway, right? So I don't know. I kind of like the idea. If you go to rats of like the more like insane rat shit with like sidestep and like sure strip and wrestle and that kind of thing, right? Mm. Yeah, and it, it kind of makes more sense if you're going to be one turning with Juggernaut against Flesh Golems to have sidestep, right? Mm. Yeah. And Imperial Nobility, let's throw that in there as well. Yeah. Because oh, you know, yeah. Like, if you're going to be, like, there's not going to be many one turns that he can do easily without sidestep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, well, it, what's in, this, is, this is Group B, right? Oh, so he's got three woodies. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, he might be alright. He might be alright. So there is one knob. There's one knob and there's one necro, right? So yeah. there'll be two two games that is going to be very difficult to unturn in. Yeah. But there are three woodies. And let's have a look at the woodies. Lots and lots of woodies. Well. Okay. Oh, we're going to see some tree on tree action. Oh, no tree. No tree here. Yeah. Monitors is different from the other two. Um, he's got max skills. And no oh, oh, Max tree. Dodge. <laughs> yeah, Max Dodge. Not quite, but... Oh, no, it's Max Dodge. Yes, that's the leader. That's a throw, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Yeah, five Dodge. Um, and then a Tackler and a Stripper. So, yeah, seven skills. Three rerolls. Apple. Because he doesn't have the tree. Three rerolls. like dwarves. Ha <laughs> ha. And a thrower. It's a very, it's a very yeah. elfy team, isn't it? That might be the best one for the, uh, for the mirrors, right? Having the more Dodge. I quite like that team, tree. yeah. Mm. Mm. I like, I quite like. the tree, do you? Mm. For the moors. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then I think trees and 
stride is a very similar. Um, so. Frenzy Dancer. This is also very similar to the core. Tree's named her team. I'm not on it. Oh my god. What a oh, dice. Diced. diced. An absolute dice. Uh, so, yeah, three rerolls, Apple. So, giving up a skill for the extra money, which lets you get the extra reroll, which is pretty nice, isn't it? There's the last one had three rerolls. Yes, but didn't have a tree. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So, so tree rerolls. Tree rerolls. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Wee. <laughs> yep. So two wrestles, two dodges, a frenzy, and a strip. So a slight variation. Yeah. 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 Frenzy over tackle. I like the tackle, honestly, but I know people like friends. Yeah. Yep. And then, uh, and then Striders is very similar. It's got the same it's shell, the three catches, step. three re-rolls, and then he's gone a strip and a sidestep, and again side two step. wrestle and two and two dodge. So yeah, both of them nearly took the core Duke. Euro ball Wood Elf team, but they didn't. They both did their own little spin on it. Um, sidestep for Strider and Frenzy for Tree. Interesting. Is this the same team? Did Strider take Strider took Woody's last season, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He he took uh, he took Mighty Blow, didn't he? he took Mighty Blow on his. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And this is, I guess, he's taking an. Extra I'm sure he took a sidestep one as well. Maybe. I'd maybe. say I'm sure. Maybe I'm not. But surely not, because his his team is called Sidestep Better Than Mighty Blow. <laughs> so, <laughs> so oh, I think he okay, this, yeah. I think he'll have gone a strip and a Mighty Blow, and then I'm sure someone had a Sidestep Dancer last season, but it might have been an or I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. So pretty interesting. I do like getting the money for what else. That made me think more about getting the money for other teams as well. To be honest, because uh, I didn't think of it, and then Cole was like, "Oh, well, you can get." You, know, you can get the extra 30k and then you get the re-rolls as well. So I, I oh, like so this. Core built your roster as well. No, no, the, uh, the, <laughs> he, <laughs> he built this Wood Elf team. Like, I didn't think of it for the Wood Elves. And oh, I, was, I see. Like, right, I thought yeah. Wood Elves were a bit awkward. But then I was like, oh, yeah, that's clever. So then because he mentioned that, I thought about doing it with a few other teams as well. Um, you know, it's, it's obvious with Necros, right? Because it gives you the uh, it gives you full positional. The option. the full position. I think they really. I, I I genuinely think they need the full positional. It's going to be. I, I'll be interested to see how Diomed does versus how Andy and yourself do. Mm. Um, see if there is any sort of any losses because of the lack of the two walls. Yeah. So there you go. That is that is the uh, Super League. Very exciting. Ooh. It is. Yep. Very exciting. Yep, and there, yeah, this is the full schedule here, so you can, and you can go and find this. Uh, I'll, I'll link the, I'll link the, uh, you know, I'll link the document in the, uh, in the thing, but you can see all the, all of the matches there, and. Uh, so when have we got Jimmy versus Nobs? Um, oh, we're gonna have to wait ages. Oh my god, it's, it's like game. week six. Oh my it's god. The last game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My God, what a Dyson! Yep, yep. But, uh, I can't wait for that game. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait for that game. Oh, dear. I hope I've just like won all my other games, so it doesn't even matter if I lose. <laughs> oh, imagine you not qualifying because you got beaten by knobs. Wow, that would be, that would be the absolute worst. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait. <laughs> that would be wait. the absolute, absolute worst thing that could happen would be denied qualification by bloody knobs. Nobs. Um, yeah, he does a lot on woodies, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot on woodies. Yep. Yeah, three woodies, three necro, two knobs. Uh, like a lot of skills, two. right? A lot of yeah. Tier two, yeah, yeah, tier two, so they get, yeah. they get like 160 gold, plus so they get 190 gold and six skills. And they don't really need how many how many really. skills did Undead get? Uh, they Is got five or six? eight by default. Eight by default, and then they they got you know, eight skills. Yeah, yeah. And nobody took them. Oh my god! No, no. Uh, what Necro? No, no. Undead. How undead. many? Skills? Oh, sorry. Undead. Undead got six. So, yeah. So sorry, you can make it. Stupid. No, 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 no. It's fine, man. It's fine. Uh, but Orcs you can you can make. Which is crazy. 
like it's crazy not to go orcs, but I guess we were all a bit burnt out on orcs. And like you know, maybe, maybe Art would have taken orcs if he, if he was in it the game, but uh, he wasn't up to uh, he wasn't up for blood bowl to be honest. And uh, to answer to answer McSwiss week one, it will it starts tomorrow. It literally starts tomorrow. The the week will start tomorrow. So um, you know, people can start organizing their games now. To uh, I mean, they could start playing now if they wanted actually. So yeah, people can start. Can start Later. scheduling instantly, and they, they, the first week, yeah, it starts from now. The, the deadline for the round will be, um, you know, Sunday next week. Hey, what's your before. predictions on seeing a single running pass made in the in the whole competition? I predict we will not see one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to see one. I don't think we're going. Man, the throw is so bad. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> yeah, so it's. Bad. It's just that, like, you know, not, like, there are really niche uses. There are really niche uses for it, but they're so niche. It's so unlikely. It's so unlikely for, for you know, because normally... You what, do, you do know, come up with running pass? Yeah, because normally, <clears> like, you know, you just... It could it could work in a one turn, so you could, like, throw the pass to him when you're closer to him and then go and fill another square, but, like, the kick would need to be perfect and you'd have to be, like, set up in the right square for it to make any matter. Like, yeah. But... I mean, general, generally, right, if you could pass, like, if you've got movement left, you'd be better off handing off. And if, yeah. you know, that, that's basically it. If, you, if you're passing, you're doing a short pass because it's as close as you can get. And it's a free pass, pass as well, it's, and you don't know yeah. pass, do you? Yeah. You don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got so, a thrower that doesn't even have pass, man. Like, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of terrible that the like to, the use of it is generally when you're passing, you've used all of your movement before you pass. So like mm -hmm. maybe you've got one square left, and so that's why you don't want a GFI to hand off. So like there'll be the very very rare occasions where you will running pass, but yeah, super rare. And, uh, no sure hands. And uh, oh yeah, all the predictions for Group B. Sorry, sorry, we 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 um, we went with something, didn't we? You went core, didn't you? Because he was yes. Nice. Kfo and Diomed, although <clears throat> I haven't seen his team, <laughs> I might I might change that actually. I think I think Kfo stacks up well in that group right against all the elves. I think you know the elves will like, just run around and like yeah. down and stuff against each other, and then the knobs will just come along and smash the ball. Yeah, it's well. I mean, the attack on mighty blow. Uh, yeah. no, yeah. Like it actually looks. But the stack like... firms and stuff. Like I think knob knobs just stack up well against elves. I think. Yeah. So what we what we got in there? So I'd, I'd say Kfo, and I would say I'm gonna like out of the elves. I think Monitor's team was the one that I liked. Mm. It seems the one best set up for mirrors. It's yes, I'll, I'll go I, think, with... I think Necro is set up well. Those against Wood Elves as well. Yeah, I think I'll go wolf, Diamond. Man, the one wolf. I think I'll go Diamond and Kfog. So <laughs> I guess, mate, Diamond has got a dirty player as well, and like that, if that pops off, it, it could. Absolutely smash a wood elf team, right? But yeah. it's a bit high rolly, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, anything can happen. That's the thing, you know. And there's there's no shame if anybody loses all of the games because uh, you know it's very easy, isn't it? It's, uh, and they still would have done better than I did when I was in it for that <laughs> one season. <laughs> you did all right, did you? You did all right. No, I did. I think mean, I lost five, did I? Out of six. You no. drew. You drew with me because I was I was fuming that you. That we drew. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, that was that was the easy game. Right? You're drawing no, four losses. <laughs> yeah, okay, it wasn't that all right. <laughs> I'll be honest, it wasn't that all right. But. I did, I, it's yeah. understandable. Like at the, at the end of the day, like anyone, that can happen to anyone. It's like mate, it's hard, one of it's, one of the games hard, against Kanor. One of the games against Kanor. Um, one of my mummies got hit by a rock and got cast and didn't regen. And this was on turn zero. And then he blitzed my other mummy with his rat ogre and cast it and it didn't regen. So I played the whole game against rats with no mummy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Bad. And I, they all nearly got a draw, but I didn't. But yeah, that was uh, it was one of them. Yep. Yep. Oh. I've got this so it's a bit bigger. Uh, well, hey. So, um, well, hey, I did make it bigger. And yeah, yeah so you were both you were both in the same season. And that, no, Elliot was in the season one. Elliot was in season yeah. one. Yeah. Three Daddy days, one three and months. two, and then it's like, fuck this. <laughs> yeah. And Dimmy was a one hit wonder. And then we uh, we had some people there. And then season four was obviously the first Blood Bowl 3 1. 
and uh, now we've got a new season, and uh, it should be very exciting. So there you go. Obviously, I'll I'll do all the. So glad. All the... I'm so glad we got two knobs in there. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's re- it is really. It's for me. It's amazing. Yeah. You've normally got a picture for that kind of thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'll cast all of the games, of course, and uh, either live or as replays. And uh, obviously, we'll stream my own game, uh, my own games in this. And uh, yeah, should, obviously, no World Cup ticket this time. We only got one one ticket for the whole for the whole competition. But maybe next, you know, maybe next year there might be another World Cup. Fingers crossed. And then I will obviously ask to see if I could get like three tickets. You know, so we could have a, a ticket for every season of Super League. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, because I think, you know, this is the best competition in Blood Bowl 3, to be honest. Yeah, I think I agree. Yeah. Yeah. No. No? In Blood Bowl 3? I just want it to be contrary. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, so it's there you a, go. It's a, it's a low-ass bar, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is a low bar. It's <laughs> a competition. And it, it, uh... I mean, you look at these twelve. You would, you would, you would need a, like a three hundred person tournament in tabletop to get twelve players this good. I think. Uh, I would, yeah, probably. Um, but the funny thing is, is at least in this competition, people know how many games they've got to play. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true, isn't it? Because like, there is another competition out there that nobody has any idea how many rounds there are. And it's, it's, that it, that tickled me. That did tickle me. Do we know like, what the tiebreakers are this time? Because we didn't last time. Uh, yes, yes, I actually updated it. So like, I kept the same tiebreakers, but said if it's tied after all of that, there'll be a playoff game to resolve it. Like a single, okay, okay, okay. a single game to resolve. Surely, if they're knobs, they but, also qualify, right? No. Surely, if it's a no. tie and it's an ability, they they just give an ability. Right? No, no, Demi, no, no. Screw knobs. Um, <laughs> anyway, so there you go. That is it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you very much, Dimi and Elliot. Absolutely glorious of you joining me to do this uh, to do this preview of this. Super elite, super elite, even Blood Bowl League, the best, the best league in all Blood Bowl history. Yeah, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.